Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV. And if you just got an iPhone 17, iPhone 17 Pro, Pro Max, or the new iPhone 17 Air, I'm gonna show you 10 iPhone 17 settings you need to change immediately. These hidden features will boost your battery life, improve your privacy, and unlock powerful iOS 26 tricks Apple doesn't tell you about. Let's get started. All right, so for this tutorial, I'm gonna be using the iPhone 17 Pro, but you can use pretty much any phone, iPhone Air, older iPhones as well. And as always, the full playlist of iPhone tips, tricks, and tutorials is in the description. So for this first setting here, we're gonna open up the settings application. We're gonna turn off a setting called significant locations. And for this, we're gonna scroll down and you need to find the privacy and security tab tap on location services. It does need to be on for this. And then you want to find the system services section. Now there's a lot of them here, but the one we're gonna focus on is pretty much to the bottom here called significant locations and routes. It'll prompt you to uh, show your face for face ID or a passcode. And what it's doing here is your iPhone is keeping a detailed history of the places you visit most, like your home, your work, your daily coffee shop. And if it's on, you'll actually see a map here as well. So what you wanna do is clear that history, first off here, clear it out, and then you would want to turn it off right here. And you can read right here, it is going to affect certain things. And although Apple says it is encrypted, it still means your phone is logging everywhere you go. So disabling this increases your privacy and can save a small amount of battery life. So for my personal preference, I have significant locations turned off. The next iPhone 17 setting we want to turn off is the app tracking. So we're gonna open settings again here and we're gonna scroll down to the privacy and security section once again, tap on the tracking and you want to disable the allow apps to request to track. When this is on, apps are going to ask permission to track your activity across other apps and websites to serve you targeted ads. So with this setting off, apps can't follow you around the internet. That means fewer of those creepy personalized ads, less background data is collected, and better overall privacy protection. So if you ever wondered, wow, I was talking about something or I went by somewhere, I was just at that store and now I'm getting ads from that store, it could be because this setting was on and it knew that you were in that area. For this next iPhone 17 tip, we're gonna open up our settings and we're gonna help to keep your battery healthy for a long time. So we're gonna go to the battery section here and we're gonna scroll down to the charging tab. Now you wanna have either optimized battery charging turned on or what I do, which I feel is even better, is to set this range here to go to either 90% or 85%. I personally am gonna keep it at 90% because by default, Apple has your iPhone charging to 100%, which does stress these lithium ion batteries that are in these phones over time. So on the iPhone 17, 17 Pro, all those phones, you can cap the charge at 85 and 90. And by doing this, you'll extend your battery's lifespan so it holds its charge longer after months of use. This is especially important and perfect for people who are planning to keep their iPhones for two or three years because your battery health won't drop as quickly. And if you are gonna go to 100%, ensure you have this optimized battery charging on. You can see right here what it does. It ramps up your charging, tries to keep it below the 100% point by tracking your routines, and then it'll try to ramp it up when it knows you're gonna wake up in the morning and things like that. But if you have a really crazy charging schedule where you charge it all over the place throughout the day, it's better to do things like this. That way you still get a good charge, but you're not gonna burn through that battery very quick. The next tip is in settings as well, and this is going to change the airdrop settings to contacts only. If you've never used airdrop, it's the ability to transfer and receive files through other iPhones that are close by, and it's a great feature. I use it all the time. So we wanna tap on general, we want to tap on airdrop, and you either wanna set it to contacts only or receiving off. If you have it set to everyone, which now it says everyone for 10 minutes, it used to say everyone without the 10 minute option, but basically it means that anybody nearby could send you files and photos. So by setting it to receiving off or just your contacts, this is going to prevent airdrop spam or pranks in public places like your subways, your schools, airports, where strangers can drop images onto your phone. 
keeping it on contacts only, which is what I do, ensures that only people you know can reach you. They would obviously need to be near you as well. The next iPhone tip is a little bit controversial. It's the always on display. And I talked about this in a previous video, but this one here, we're gonna open up settings, go to your display and brightness, and you wanna scroll down to the always on display. Now this is a nice feature in my opinion, and what it does, it keeps your screen dimly lit with time, widgets, and notifications even when it's locked. I think it looks classy, a lot of people don't like it, and a lot of people do. But if you turn this off or customize some of these settings, it'll save your battery life, especially in overnight situations because having the screen on overnight is going to reduce the battery life and health. It's also going to reduce distractions at night from the glowing notifications that will come through all night. If you like the look, my suggestion would be to disable the wallpaper, wallpaper photos and notifications. Now, when you turn it off, it'll be a dark screen, so it's not going to be as lit at night and you won't get any notifications as well, but you still get that always on display, reducing as much battery as you can without having to turn that off. Otherwise, turn it off, save as much battery as possible. The next iPhone privacy setting you wanna turn off is the personalized ads. So for this, again, we're gonna open up settings and go to the privacy and security section. You wanna scroll down and find the Apple advertising section here. I believe it's right here. And you want to make sure that personalized ads is turned off. If you have it on here, Apple is going to use your app store downloads, news and stock usage to target ads to you. Why you'd want to turn it off is while Apple's ads are less aggressive than others, it's still tracking your behavior. Disabling this gives you generic ads instead of ones based on your personal activity. Again, it's keeping your data more private and out of other people's hands. The next iPhone Air tip here is a simple one, but an overlooked one. And that's pulling down the control center from the top right and customizing it. So for example, if you tap and hold here, you'll be able to move these controls around. You'll be able to tap and add a control and you can go through all the different controls you have on your iPhone. And there are a ton of them. You can search for them. You can add them in. For example, if you wanted a dedicated dark mode option, if you wanted a, for example, camera, you can add that in. Customizing these and adding them here will save you time and taps. For example, I added in the dark mode button there. So now I can just tap it and my dark mode is on. So if I open settings, we see it like this. If I tap it again, my settings go back to light mode and all features will go back to light mode as well. Customize it. Once it's set up, you're not going to have to dig through menus. It's only one swipe away to get your favorite controls quickly with a tap. This next iPhone tip involves your face ID security. And for this, we're going to open the settings here again, and we need to find the face ID and passcode section. It's going to prompt you to enter in your passcode. So go ahead and do that. And you want to scroll down here to require attention for face ID. Now what it does is it ensures that your eyes are open and looking at the phone. You would wanna change this because it prevents someone from unlocking your phone while you're asleep or not paying attention. Adding alternate appearances also makes face ID more reliable with hats, glasses, or masks so you get security plus convenience there as well. So you can add those here, but basically if you have the require attention for face ID, have that on. It gives you a little bit more security when unlocking your phone with Face ID. The next iPhone tip is going to give you more customization and personalization with your iPhone, and it'll help if you have other preferences, for example, to change your default browser or your email app. So for this, you're going to open settings again here, and we're going to scroll all the way to the bottom to apps. So we're going to change the default browser first. You would need to have it installed on your phone. So for example, I have Chrome installed here. We can tap on it and you'll see at the bottom, it says default browser app. It says it's Safari. If you prefer Chrome, if you prefer DuckDuckGo, if you prefer Firefox, whatever it might be, you'll be able to choose it. So you have to find that app in this section and choose it. And the same goes for emails. So now that we have Chrome set as our default browser, whenever we open up links, it'll open in Chrome rather than Safari. The same goes for email. So if you had a different email client that you preferred, you can go to it. For example, Gmail here, we can go down here. You can see default app is the standard mail app on the iPhone. If we prefer Gmail, we could set it to that as well. And you can use any mail service that you'd like, whether it's 
Outlook or whatever there is. And this is gonna give you a more consistent workflow across your devices, especially if you use Windows or Android's devices at your work or with your other projects. It'll be more consistent while you're using it. For this next setting, I'm gonna show you how to turn off the raise to wake feature, which basically when your iPhone is locked, all you have to do is raise it and you can see it lights up and you'll be able to see your notifications and things that pop up unless you have them enabled. Now, while it is a convenient feature, it does drain the battery and sometimes it unlocks your phone accidentally if you keep your phone in a bag or pocket. So disabling this is going to avoid unwanted wake-ups and saves your power. So for this, we need to go down to the display and brightness settings here and we're gonna scroll down till you see raise to wake. For this, we're gonna turn this off here. Now, when your iPhone is locked and you raise it, it's not going to wake up unless you tap or click a button or swipe upwards to activate your Face ID. A bonus tip here with the iPhones is exclusive to Pro and Pro Max iPhones, whether it's the iPhone 17 Pro Max or the iPhone 16 Pro Maxes. Basically for this, we're gonna enable the 48 megapixel Pro Raw max option here so for this we're going to go into settings you want to find camera go to the format section and make sure that pro raw and resolution control is on by default it's off if you open your camera app and it is off this is what you'll see it'll look like this you won't have an option to choose from that up there but if we turn it on in settings we'll just close out the camera and open it back up and you'll see here we now have that HEIC 24, but we can set it to the Pro Raw 48 megapixel resolution, which unlocks the full potential of the iPhone 17 Pro and Pro Max cameras. Photos are gonna look sharper. They're gonna give you more editing flexibility and they're perfect for creators or anyone who wants like a DSLR level shot from your iPhone. But those were the 10 iPhone 17 Pro Max settings you should change right away on your iPhone 17, iPhone 17 Pro, Pro Max or the iPhone Air. Adjusting these will not only give you better battery life and privacy, but it's also going to unlock the hidden features Apple doesn't highlight in iOS 26. Now, if you found this tutorial helpful, you're going to love my iPhone 17 tips, tricks, and tutorial playlist. It covers everything from beginner setups, guides, hidden iPhone features, camera tricks, Apple intelligence. The link to that again is in the video description. So before you go, tap on the playlist and discover even more ways you can get the most out of your iPhone 17. And as always, don't forget to hit the like button if you found this video helpful or enjoyable. Subscribe to the channel and click the bell notification box so you're notified when I post new videos and share the video out on social media so others can benefit from these tips as well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.